Hey everybody, KGB Grow here. Um, back for the continuation, I guess, of basic uh, wiring for your grow room. Uh, we've already discussed the uh, two wires per hole, which, man, if you want to shove a bunch of the wires in there, you can. I don't recommend it, but hey, uh, you do what you want to do. I'm just trying to give you what I do and why I do it, uh, and hopefully it helps you. So we got two wires traveling through uh, this demising wall between the fly room and the garage. And then it goes over into one of the wires, goes over into this box. The other wire passes straight through. And that other wire actually passes straight through, goes all the way back to that panel board. It is a dedicated circuit for the AC unit that will sit there uh, alone. If I have to make it a 220 volt circuit, I can, but it will be a, uh, right now it's going to be a borrowed, as you know from the last video, uh, a borrowed AC unit for my parents. Uh, and I would actually buy an AC unit for this room, um, but I need I need to uh, get some CO2 also. And so I'm just gonna borrow theirs. It's just sitting in their freaking basement, not doing anything. So I'm gonna use it for a couple months and then I'll, uh, I'll get an AC here after, uh, after the cup sometime. Anyways, back to uh, the electrical. Uh, this is, a junction box where there's going to be a receptacle. This is still in the flower room. Um, and basically, the main feed, the main hot wire from the panel, comes into this uh, box. And give me a second, sorry, man. I'm, I'm trying to uh, get this out of here so you can see it a little better. Because I only want to do this once. Okay. So, uh, this actually has three wires coming into the box. One wire f coming from the panel board into the box, and then two wires going back out. One going over to the end of line over there for the flower room, uh, which is the dedicated circuit for the room, not, not the dedicated circuit for the AC, which runs all that panel room, but just the dedicated circuit for this room that has three receptacles on it. Uh, it also comes out, goes in, goes into the hollow channel behind the uh, behind the corner where the two balls intersect. Goes up over there, across here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying. Got us down there and. Uh, I'm using my phone still, so that bike light's going to jack you on this. But anyways, it goes into that receptacle, sorry, right there. And it's actually a double receptacle box. So I'm going to go over there and look at it. Hopefully the light, the back light won't jack you too much. I'm, I'm trying to cover it. Damn, man. And I apologize. But anyways, it's what's called a double gang box. There's going to be two receptacles in here for this, and it's on the same circuit for this room. Um, and really, what's going to sit over here is either a dehumidifier or humidifier, depending on the time of the year, because I will be using uh, fresh air uh, for a few months out of the year, because where I'm located, the winter time is fine. Uh, it is quite dry, but it's good for cooling my room off, uh, my flower room off, but, but I will need some uh, humidification in the process. So, uh, depending on what time of year it is, it's going to have both those things. Also, what's going to sit over here is my CO2. And to begin with, it's, it's going to be set on a 15-minute timer. So at the beginning of every hour, it's going to come on for 15 minutes. It's going to have a hose that basically, uh, this tank's going to sit like right here. It's going to have a hose that comes up. There will be a fan sitting in this general area. The hose will come behind the fan, oscillating back and forth, and it will blow. CO2 out into the room and over there which you've already seen a number of times there's gonna be a fan sitting there too also oscillating which will help to blow it back and the CO2 will drop eventually it will attach to the leaves it will do its thing blah 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 oxygen will get released it will go a little higher uh, there will be a <laughs> there will be a 
filter somewhere up here going out to the exhaust. That'll all be coming later. So, sorry. Didn't mean to uh, venture off into that shit. Anyways, uh, quad receptacle for this room. On with that circuit over there. And uh, one of those boxes circuits over there. The other one should be AC. So, anyways, uh, I also made this up. Uh, these guys aren't going to be able to see this, but I made it up so that I can just, once the she rocks on there, and I pull these wires out. There's two black wires, one for each of the hots of each receptacle. I've done that with the grounds also and with the neutrals. And also, I wanted to give anybody a heads up that's making up boxes and uh, doesn't want the extra space that these make up. They tend to be a pain in the ass sometimes. But if you'll notice, this right here all the ground wires were taken and twisted together and basically sorry what I did is I thought I brought my freaking oh I did give me one second <laughs> pardon me there was I took them all and kind of twisted them together a couple times and then I took my lineman pliers which is, these are what lineman pliers look like. Okay. And I put them on here and I twisted a bunch of times. I mean a bunch of times. Pushed it back in the box. Took my dikes, which I'll go into that in a second. Cut it off, bam, only left one ground wire and hanging out because there's only going to be one receptacle in this box and then I took a white wire here and tied it together with uh, these are two white wires and the black wire which is the hot wire to, to for the makeup of that box for the receptacle and before I go on I kind of want to talk to you you know what I was going to make a joke about the dikes look I call these dikes in the field any electrician, whether they're lesbian or straight or gay, knows what dykes are. Now, dyke is a derogatory term, I guess, these days for lesbians. I don't call lesbians dykes, but it can be. Uh, but these actually have two standard names. One is called uh, the diagonal cutters. You see how they're kind of curved and diagonal, but they're also called Boston side cutters and then it, it actually look at the chop of them. I don't know how well I can see that. But anyways, uh, Boston side cutters. Uh, I'll always call them dykes. Uh, if you're a lesbian out there, I'm not being derogatory. I would never call you a dyke or be derogatory in any manner, regardless of my actual uh, 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 viewpoints as far as uh, uh, lifestyles and whatnot. That's wrong. Uh, but uh, from a, an electrician standpoint, I've been calling these for dykes for years, even before dyke was derogatory. So, hey man, if you have a problem with it, come at us. Check it out. I'm gonna, I don't even, I'm gonna dyke you. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, anyways, man, not derogatory. Uh, uh, rant in on that one. Blah, blah, blah. So, um, we're about nine minutes right now. I, I'm trying not to go over 10 minutes on videos. Uh, I think that covers the electrical portion. I'm going to shovel those wires back in that box. And then uh, I'm going to skip the portion on the electrical for the bedroom only because there's plants in there. And uh, it's, it's kind of a pain in the butt. But it's, it would just be repetitive. And on the next video, I'm going to discuss the sub panel that controls the power for these rooms oh wait before i go i do want to mention this one orange wire up here this is actually a uh, uh, number 10 wire three which is too big for what i need it for but it's got two hots and a neutral and a ground in it and basically right here in that area between that stud and that stud is going to be my uh the bo uh, a board i'm going to put up and it's going to have my uh, lighting controller for this flower room, uh, which is a 240 volt uh, four light 
uh, controller that will control four ballasts for each one of the lights in this room. Um, and uh, that's what that's for. Uh, you'll see more when I start to put sheetrock up about that and how I deal with it. It's just, it's just a live wire that's going to go into an autopilot four light uh, controller, 30 watt controller, or 30 amp controller. Uh, and I'll go into a little more detail on that when I actually install it in the uh, later videos. So uh, I know it went over 10 minutes, but uh, I, so I apologize. But hey, check me out later for the new uh, for the sub sub panel video and uh, for more on how to build your own grill room.